Good day grade 11s, hope you're doing well. So today we're talking about the volume relationship of gaseous reactions. So, um, and where does it take effect? Okay, so for instance, when we look at explosions with fuels and uh, even things like airbags, all of these work with this principle of gaseous reactions. Like with explosions, you have, let's say for instance, uh, a solid, right? And then from there, like ammonium, ammonium nitrate, this example used, and it literally decomposes into uh, nitrogen gas, high water gas, and then uh, oxygen gas. So, you have a solid, and the moment it ignites, it literally uh, causes a lot of um, moles of gas to form, okay? And this causes an explosion, okay? Uh, the same with airbags, you want with airbags, you want a very quick reaction to take place, and then, but you want it to be stored in a very small container, right, initially, like the powder. And then when it reacts, it needs to be a rapid reaction. And from there on, it needs to form a lot of gas. Okay? And another one is fuel, like think of petrol, um, which is basically octane, right? And from there on, it combusts, but it's in a liquid form. But now it combusts and it forms uh, a lot of gas. It uses oxygen, but it forms carbon dioxide and water if it's a complete reaction. And all of these function with the effect that it increases the volume of, like, uh, of the total reaction. But remember, all of these reactions, doesn't matter what, it follows the, the Avogadro's law. It follows... Um, uh, conservation of mass, all of those, it's still a chemical reaction. The only difference is it goes from a solid or liquid into a gas phase. And with that, it expands the volume tremendously. Okay, so another thing that you need to keep in mind for this work, for this section of the work, is that the moment we say STP, it means standard temperature, which is 0 degrees Celsius, or 273 Kelvin, and standard pressure, which is 1 atmosphere, which is 101 kilopascal. Okay, so that's the unit, STP, standard temperature and pressure, 0 and 1 atmosphere. The second thing you need to keep into consideration is the molar volume of gases. Okay, so the molar volume is equal to 22.4 cubic decimeters. Remember, a cubic decimeter is the same size as one lit as a liter. So 22.4 cubic decimeters is the same as 22.4 liters. So one mole of any gas at standard temperature and pressure is equal to 22.4 cubic decimeters. Okay, now I'm going to do an example or two uh, so you can see how the calculations work. In this example, we are taking from the textbook study master, test three on page 199. It says ethanol burns in air according to the equation. Let me give you this equation. Okay, so this ethanol, remember whenever you have a combustion reaction, you always add oxygen and it goes to carbon dioxide and uh, water vapor. Okay, and depending on your, um, your fuel, this might look different with one or two other things or um, the products added, but in this case, it looks exactly like this. So already balanced, you need to be able to balance it yourself as well. Okay, now they tell us, if 
209 grams of ethanol are used. Okay, so 209 gram. That's what we have there, right? And used up in a combustion process. Calculate, and then they want us to calculate the volume of oxygen used, the standard temperature and pressure, and then also the, the volume of gas released during combustion, standard temperature and pressure. Okay, so remember with the previous stoichiometric calculations, I told you that you they normally give you a mass and then you have to convert it by using the molar or molecular mass to get to mole. Then you use the molar ratio to get the amount of moles also used or produced. And then you use the molar mass again to get to mass produced. But in this case, they want volume. And you can see these three are gases. So we are not using the molar mass to uh, convert like to convert into mass again we are going to use molar volume to get to volume okay and the same over here we are going to use the molar volume of each to get to volume so that's the strategy so first first things first is we need to determine the molar mass for Excuse me for ethanol. Okay, how many carbons do we have? One, two carbons. So it's two times twelve. How many hydrogens? Three plus two is five plus one is six. And there's a mass of one. And then oxygen there is just one oxygen, so it's just plus sixteen. Okay, so now uh, we just need to calculate that, right? So it's twenty four plus six plus sixteen. I get forty six grams. Per mole. Okay, now <coughs> that means mole equals mass divided by molar mass. So 209 divided by 46. Then I get 4,54 moles. Okay, so this is the amount of moles used. Okay, now we take this, remember I'm I'm not using the rounded off value, I'm using um, the full value. So now we're using this to go to oxygen. So 2 moles needs 6 moles of oxygen. So this amount, 2, has to be multiplied with 3 to get to 6, right? So that means <coughs> moles oxygen is equal to 3 times 4,54 then I get 13,63 moles oxygen ok how did I get to that 3 again I'm just going to say you multiply with where you're going but you divide with where you are ok so I took whatever the answer was 4.4 uh, 4.54 divided by 2 and then equals 2 and then multiply by 6 uh, and that's how I got to 3 and that's how I got to 13.63 now we know that the molar the volume is equal to the amount of moles times the molar volume so we taking 13.63 times 22,4 which is the molar volume of any gas right and then we will have our answer and I get 
an answer of 305,3 cubic decimeters. Now the second question, the volume of gas released during combustion at standard temperature and pressure. So we are talking about all of this together, right? So now we already know what's the amount of moles that we have here, right, with SNL. So we know whatever that is divided by 2 times 4 will give us the amount of uh, moles carbon dioxide and divided by 2 times 6 will give us the amount of moles uh, water, right? Um, so let's do that quickly. So So moles carbon dioxide will be 4,54 divided by 2 times 4 and moles water is 4,54. Just going to write it like this, it's easier. Um, times 6 over 2. So we already know this answer because we have done a calculation like that already. And this one will be 9,09. Okay, so if we want to have the total moles produced, uh, we um, we can just add those together, right? And then we get 22,73. There's a total amount of moles. You will see now that I'm not concerned with which gas. I can just add them together because it doesn't matter which gas. We are working with molar volume, right? So at the end, we... Just take the amount of moles of gas formed and then we can convert that into uh, volume. So 22,73 times the molar volume which is 22.4 and that will give us 509 cubic decimeters of gas formed. Okay, so I hope this helps you to see how to do the calculations. Uh, again, it's like I say, it's like getting on to a train, going to the next platform and getting off. Okay, the cost is just different. Okay, so here we get on from mass through molar, uh, molecular mass to moles. We go to different uh, position, we get off, meaning we use the ratio. Um, and then we use our molar volume to determine the total amount of volume. It's the same over there. Okay, so this is basically how the calculation works.